My first year farming, I set out on the lawn shelling scarlet runner beans and said, I want to do this for the rest of my life, whether it makes money or not. <laughs> <laughs> and I came out as a volunteer. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I think that was when I first came out, was the winter of 2004. Probably shelled right, beans. Shell beans. And talked about farming. Yeah, mm -hmm. not even, it wasn't even a career mm -hmm. option for me at the point. It was the something connecting about doing that. I think when you sit around using your hands and, and working with people, that's a time to, a real interesting kind of visiting time. You're talking about little tiny things that you're actually doing, but you're also talking about bigger things. I'm just so lucky that you and Rebecca and Tina, all those people were in the community welcoming people into farming and then finding, like you and Rebecca both doing seeds and finding my place in farming mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. And then I think that piece of giving back, like I'm teaching too, yeah. and we're creating resources that we like widely share in the community. Right. She's <laughs> super organized <laughs> and skilled with website design, seeing where things get glitched and how can we how can we clear out this glitch and make it move smoothly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think for Mary I've learned because you've you've done it for so long and you've seen things, you've taken risks and seen things succeed and fail but have also really made space to encourage that like that's part of farming, you gotta do that. Because I think because I'm a planner and an organizer, I'm less bold that way and I yeah. think you've really helped me be more dynamic in terms of living a little wild and a little larger. Mm -hmm. I teach classes on, on growing organically and people say, well, does it make a good living? Because they're thinking of getting into farming and I'm, I start to say, it makes, I stop a minute and then I say, it makes a wonderful living. But not much money. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think in that, I always think you really got to find like what could you your hit, because that's the thing. I think there's a lot of romanticism around farming right, right now. Be gentle with yourself that first year. Right. Try things, figure out the pieces of it, and find out what it is. For and sure. I, I have a passion for plants, and if it's a passion, if you can, follow it. Yeah, follow yeah. it. Do it. Yeah.